Hi, my name is Daniel Palmer, and I've lived in this house for roughly around eight to nine months. And I've noticed a lot of paranormal activity that cannot be explained. So two or three nights ago, I was sitting by the bed, uh, talking with my wife, and noticed a black shadow coming down the hallway, going into my kid's room. I went to investigate as to what went into my kid's room, and I found nothing. I've noticed a lot of things moving. I've noticed dark shadows, things that were hiding in closets, things that just could not be explained by the normal, everyday activities of life. And so that's why I called Nervous Poltergeist, so they could come and help me figure out what's going on in the house. Thank you for coming to our channel, Nervous Poltergeist. Poltergeist. I'm Seth. I'm Aaron. And I'm Brian. Today we're here at Daniel Palmer's home where they, where him and his family have been experiencing a lot of paranormal activity. So we are here to go get answers. So what do you guys say? Ready? Yeah. I'm ready. All right. Hey, you Daniel? Yeah, man. I'm Brian. Aaron. What's going on, guys? What's up, Seth? Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Come on in, guys. Alright, so Daniel, since we were here last weekend and we talked to you a little bit and stuff, and, um, has anything happened throughout the week since we've been here? A lot, actually. Um... I was here today, I was letting the dogs out to go, to, you know, go outside and do the thing and brought the dogs back in and I heard something crash in my son's room. So I go back, I look, see what's going on, nothing's there, mm -hmm. I don't see anything on the floor that would have caused that kind of a noise. And as I'm walking down the hallway here, I hear footsteps coming up the stairs. So later on about about five o'clock today. Um, I'm going through cutting all lights off in the house. There was no lights on. Mm -hmm. I double checked everything, made sure the door was locked, the whole nine. So when we came home roughly about nine o'clock tonight, we pulled up in the driveway. Every light in the house was on. The back door was unlocked. Mm -hmm. And we Replaced my son's light bulb last night because it had blown. The bulb, one of the bulbs blown again, and this is a brand new bulb. Same one. Same one. Same light. Same everything. It's just a different. It was a brand new bulb right out the pack. Put it up in there, and just it, it won't. A few hours later. I mean, like it won't work, and it's not an electrical issue, you know, because it worked when we put it in, right. and then he went to flip the switch and turn it back, you know, turn it on when we got in, and. No light. Got a fan. Mm -hmm. No light. Alright, well we'll go ahead and uh, start the investigation and see what we get. Let's do it. You guys ready? We're yeah. ready. Alright guys, so before we start the investigation, we want to tell you what, we, what we're using. We're using the uh, PSB7 spirit box. It does pick up a lot of spirits, voices, and stuff. So we'll be able to communicate with whatever may be here. And what do you got, bud? EMF reader. Okay, and then you got the digital flash camera. We're going to use the camera to try and take pictures of it and get orbs, and then we're going to use the EMF reader to pick up the spirits to find out where they're at and help us locate it. All right, ready? Yeah, I think we're ready. All right, go ahead and turn yours on. All right, let's walk. Let's walk back to the first bedroom. See if we pick anything up. Uh, check in there first. Well, we got to do it in here.
All right, so we're gonna do a ghost box session in here real quick. All right. Seth, come in here. Turn off? Yeah, turn off on me. Hang on, hold that real quick. Dude, I just replaced these batteries. It was only. There we go. Yeah. Is there anybody here with us tonight? Can you please tell us your name? Can you please repeat that? Yeah, turn it off. I might have to do it from here. Hang on. All right, let's try it again. Is there anybody here with us tonight? Can you please tell us your name? up a lot of activity in here. Yeah. I have it and I have it on a reverse sweep. Okay. Can you please tell us how old you are? I heard Harold again. Can you tell us how old you are? Can you tell us if you're a boy or a girl? Can you repeat? Can you please repeat that? Can start taking photos. How many of you are here? Can you tell us why you're here? You. Who are you, who are you talking about? Are you talking about me? I'm trying to say something. I, it is. 
How long have you been here? Can you tell us what year it is? Is there a specific person you're after? That's a clear yes. What? That's not like a lead. Do you want us here? Did you used to live here? No. Did you follow somebody here? How long have you been following this person? Can you please repeat that? Is that in five years? Yes. Why are you following them? <laughs> Do you want to hurt anybody? Do you want to hurt anybody that lives in this home? I can't make it out Are you after the girl that lives in this room? Why are you following this family?
All right, let's, we're going to take this to another room. So we're going to turn this off. We're going to try another room here. All right, let's go this way. Okay, and uh, go into this room here, into the parents' room here. See if we get any, anything on the EMF here real quick. saying that um, it wasn't so uh, wasn't really in this room that it was just in the two it was in the two kids' room but we're gonna try in here as well with the uh, with the ghost box so turn that off. Is Henry in this room with us tonight? It sounded like a loan. Do you want to harm us? Can you give us a sign of your presence that you're here with us tonight? Can you make a tapping noise? Whoa, dude. Okay. Wow. Penny on the floor. Did you do that noise? That was a clear yes right there. at least four spirits here. I'm trying to listen to see. Do you want to tell us anything? Well, we're not going to leave yet.
Is there an evil presence here tonight? Whoa, dude. Let's go out here. I don't know, I heard, a, I heard a weird scratching noise. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but out here in the hallway. We heard, I heard, I just heard a weird scratching noise. It sounded like a, that's me. Is there, is there anybody here tonight that wants to harm us? Right, let's go in here. Is there an evil presence in this home tonight? Sounds like I don't know. I know. Dude, I heard the devil. Did you hear that? Did anybody else hear that? Why are you following this family? Do you believe in Jesus? Can you please tell me why you're here to harm the family? Alright, we're going to turn the goose box off now. feeling a very heavy presence here um what it seems like so far that what we've got it seems very demonic um it's there's four spirits here that we've found out so far um how are you guys feeling i'm dizzy man what about you aaron i feel cold yeah there, there's something there's something evil here uh, why don't you go, uh, go ahead and uh, take the EMF and start like investigating the kitchen real quick. Alright, All right, so we're going to go ahead and end the video. Uh, we did get a lot of activity. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to end the video now, and then we're going to reconnect with Daniel here um, tomorrow 
Um, we'll do a phone interview with him, and um, we'll let him know our findings. All right. So, what do you, what do you guys think? There's definitely something, a lot of somethings here. Very heavy presences. I've been getting dizzy ever since we walked back that hallway. Something's been yeah, going something's at here. us. Anything here? Man, I'm still feeling a little bit cold. Um, I'm getting goosebumps on the back of my hair, on the back of my neck right now. Alright guys, we want to thank you again for coming to our channel, Nervous Poltergeist. Please like and subscribe. You'll have a wonderful night.